welcome to RLA's 20th annual conference and expo here in Las Vegas. I'm joined by Rick from Uship. Thank you so much for being here, Rick. It's nice to see you again. Hi, Nadia. How are you doing? Good, thank you. Now, tell us a bit about Uship. Well, Uship provides a nationwide, in the US, a nationwide network for oversized delivery for large and bulky things. So think canoes, kayaks, furniture, all of those kinds of things. And the reason why I'm at this show is we also provide return services for those products. We'll go into your home, we'll pick them up, blanket wrap them, and deliver them safely. What are the main challenges uh, working with oversized items like that? Well, there's a few problems. If you're a large retailer, we actually did this survey of large retailers, and we asked them these questions. 91% of them say they spend too much money on oversized returns. It's, it's way more expensive than they should be paying. 87% of the retailers we spoke to also said there's a major problem with the reliability of the carriers they have. And then most of the carrier, most of the people we talked to have problems with the goods being damaged. So uh, somebody who's really good at moving small parcels or moving pallets of freight, they're not always so good at moving a couch or a custom table. And if those things get moved into a warehouse, they often get scratched or dinged or dented. And if you've put your life's soul, your life's blood into a $5,000 table that you've sold on Etsy, it just crushes you mm. if you find out that it's been damaged in transit. So that doesn't happen with our network. Tell us why. Well, because we consolidate in the truck. So it's a small, smaller delivery fleet. It's typically, um, it's a nationwide network of individuals who own businesses. They typically own four trucks. Um, and instead of consolidating in a warehouse, they're consolidating in the truck. So when you don't take it out of a truck, it doesn't get damaged. So if you put it on a warehouse floor, it's gonna get hit by a forklift, somebody's gonna sit on it. Bad things happen when you move big and bulky things through warehouses. And how do you stay one step ahead of the competitors and you know, making sure that you are the best people to come to for that? You know, part of our secret sauce is we have amazing customer service. You know, with, with oversized things, something almost always goes wrong. And, you know, we're, we're ahead of that. We use artificial intelligence to predict when there's gonna be a problem with the delivery, to identify those issues. And then we have, you know, human intelligence applied to, hey, let's call the carrier and see what's going on. Hey, let's figure out where these things are. Maybe they need a little help. And, you know, and we also communicate that back to our customers. Hey, this is gonna be delayed to set the expectation the right way so that they have a great experience. And going back to the AI thing, how much is AI changing the industry at the moment? You know, we're just scratching the surface. I mean, the actual change in what we're doing is pretty small, but over time, it's gonna get more and more important. And I think it's, um, especially around things like predicting a problem that's going to happen, I think that's becoming important. And allowing people to do a better job consolidating volumes. So you're gonna to start to see you're starting to see all kinds of interesting little mile solutions come together where people are using AI to get companies to partner together that haven't done that before. And tell us about your relationship with the RLA. You've been a member just recently, right? We just joined. Now we're really excited. You know, we, we've, um, we've discovered that our delivery solution is really fantastic for returns. And so what a great place to meet all of these people who need help with returns. We're really excited about it. So how have they helped you already? Have you been getting the right support? Well, yeah, I mean, it's it's being introduced to people for one, you know, like it's always wonderful to, you know, get to come, up, come here and, and get on a stage and meet people and sponsor a breakfast. But it's also just, you know, it's just a friendliness of people. Oh, you should talk to this person. You should talk to this person. You should talk to my friend Atul over here, you know, like, <laughs> and, you know, it's, it's just a great place to be. And is there something that you're most looking forward to at this particular event here in Vegas? You know, uh, yes. The breakfast at 7.30 tomorrow that we're sponsoring. I hope everybody shows up for it. We'll see you there. <laughs> Thank you so much. Pleasure. Enjoy the rest of the conference. Thank you for watching IDX TV, proud media partners here at RLA.